Right, hi there everyone. Um, as you all know, I'm an electrician by trade. Or well, I've mentioned it a couple of times anyway. Um, so I just thought I'd show you what uh, kind of stuff an electrician normally does. Um, I'm here at a, obviously a customer's, she rent, she buys, she buys properties and rents them out. And at the moment this is a small two bedroom flat. And there's a house above me and there's a flat at the back as well. Uh, she's just brought these, so whatever flat, well, this one was empty, so it's been renovated and hopefully some stage later in the year, the house will be renovated and then the top flat, um, I think is actually, doesn't need to be done and that bloke's been there for years. Um, so I'll just show you what we normally do. Um, as you can tell, this has been fully gutted. There was walls, there was a wall through here, if you turn on the floor, all the way to the ceiling, they've redone the floor because this was all different levels in the plaster. So I, what I've had to do is, um, there's a wall through here as well. What I've done is pretty much from this wall back here, which is load bearing, so that can't be removed, is remove all wires, all the way back. So the walls are gone and they've, obviously this is a door here that they're blocking off and uh, the light switch was that side for it. Uh, so there's only one down to this bedroom here, which is a bedroom obviously now. This door's been blanked off, and there's a power point installed down there, which goes down over to this power point up here under the floor. There like that, and it runs up through the roof here. This is the light fitting for in this room here. And she's going to put plaster on the ceiling, so that's why it's hanging down the ground. And there's the light switch. This room I've used the method of uh, wiring at the switch because in this place you can't actually get back into the roof again unless they remove the plaster again. So it's a lot easier to do wiring at the switch. Um, as with all wand installation, now is the smoke alarm here. And the stand says so we need the both bedrooms, and this is the second bedroom, even though it has the door that you can't I came through in here because the new front the front door is now where that black line is. There it is, the camera's picked it up. So there's the smoke alarm required by law. Um, this has got a two-way switch in it, hence the single at this end. There's a strap. Oh, and it broke off, doesn't matter. The door architrave's got to come off, and that white singles will be placed down inside the wall there. Um, so yeah, there's a strap across. It's probably better off the other section, but yeah, this one's got a simple two-way light, two of them, because the beam in the middle causes a lot of shadows, and you'll be surprised how much that is. And you know, I'm six foot, and that's only half a foot above my head, so you can't put a normal light on the middle of the beam. I couldn't get there anyway. Um, this is obviously the lounge room, hence there's a power point there, power point there, two in the bedroom on the other side, and there's a power point on the low bearing wall, and that's far as I've got so far, because she hasn't decided what she's doing with the kitchen yet, which is through there. Um, this is where the wiring the switch starts, this is as far as I dewired back, I removed all the light things obviously, but this is where the feed used to go to the one of out here, and now it's all wired to the switch beyond here, the rest of it's standard wiring, unfortunately, but you can't help that, so... There's this wire, which is the feed to the floodlight, which is out. You can see up there, outside there. Um, feed onward to these lights and the switched. Oh, that switched to there. And the, yeah, just the feed there. And that, so the two way works by. You can see a lovely clipping up there. Um, feed work, the two ways are simple, has a strap between the two switches. Um, one, if you look at the back of a stand light switch, mind you, unless you're an electrician, you shouldn't be really doing this. Um, where's the switch? If you look here, it's marked one and two, your strap goes from that switch to the opposing switch on the other side. So both of them have one, the twin active between the two. One end of your switch is permanently fed with permanent power, or permanent power as we call it. And the other one, the other switch is a switch one which goes to a single, which now goes to this light here, which is that single there. Um, and then it's just a loop across to this second light in this lounge room area. 
Obviously you do the room in third. You divide the room in thirds to get your two lights. If you had three lights, you divide the room in quarters. Anyway, so that's pretty much what we've done. The power and lights for this section is now to be wired and for plaster go on and to be fitted off. And these are just wall brackets. So the plaster puts on there, pokes these through and you come along, trim it out, and you'll your uncle. Um, through here, through here, uh, maybe not. My dad's um, doing all the work here, that's how I got this job. Well, dad and my mates. Um, this was the kitchen, there was a fan there and a shitty bench top stove. Uh, the old phone line here. I'll go home and change mine, do a video on that. Um, there's the laundry, quite simple little unit really after that. So the feed comes from there to this light and it's switched normally back to that switch. Unfortunately I can't pull these wires out, as you can see I've tried. She wanted to divide it into two but that's just not going to happen so she went and bought a long light fitting. All these fluoros here uh, to go to trams. Um, yeah, so this is your kitchen, that's still alive from the upstairs unit unfortunately. It's going to be removed out of this wall because it's not have any J-boxes in walls by law. Which was, this place is full of them. Um, there's the switch for the kitchen and laundry. There's a two, two gang switch there. And here's the laundry. This is the switch for the shitty little bathroom. And uh, there's the back of the switchboard for three units, which is also illegal now to have all your circuits running back to here. Um, that's your main switchboard. There's a big clusterfuck in there, and I'll do a video of that separately when we get it all sorted. Um, but here's the fan loop and the rest of these wires all run into the switchboard from the other two of the house and unit. This is being deleted and the meters are being renovated. Um, there's a light for the bathroom because from this wall pretty much across there's a shower in here. So that's why the light switch is out there but I could be able to move it here yet, we're not too sure. Um, hope they leave a space behind the switchboard so I'll get to it. And I'm getting out of this room because the toilet is open. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've done for the last few days. Um, pretty much a usual job, but now I work for Roscoe. I'm allowed to film these sort of jobs and it's all myself. Oh, Alex helped for a bit, but he's... So it's pretty much me only here. Um, not, not a bad job, this one. You just got to upgrade all the fittings and stuff and pretty much making a little shit little unit underneath here. It was probably rented to 100 Chinese. I shouldn't say that, but there's about nine of them, oh, 11 of them up in the house above me, which is not much bigger than this, really. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, but hopefully she'll do it and she'll get a nice little old lady in here or something like that. But yeah, we'll see, I'll show you the end result in a few weeks' time, hopefully, when the plaster's all on. Yeah, that's pretty much why you do it. Just, uh, yeah. Just got to keep it away from the floor and the plaster. Actually, I should, that's what I was going to show you. Before I go. Yeah, obviously you can kind of have J boxes in the ceiling. That's why I pretty much dewire it all. Those old wires up there go upstairs. Where's that? There. And actually that had a white, another circuit coming out of that down here. Power to power point down here. Which is not what you want. Because you want separate meters in every unit now. Which I'll do. Um, yeah, it's been on fire. That's not black because my camera can't pick it up. Hopefully in the biggest well, you can see it, all the charcoal. Yeah, it's been on fire down here. Um, yeah, this is underneath the house, can't see it very well, but there's just wires everywhere. There it goes, that's what you really Boy, this room stinks. Boy, jingos. Poof! Yeah. Um, so yeah, hopefully she works out what she's doing with the kitchen, so I need that power circuit through the wall here into the underneath the floor and go back to the switchboard and um, the other circuit will do these rooms and the laundry. The laundry is just a temporary circuit at the moment. It's hanging out of the wall. A bit dodgy but she's right. Oh, I think I'll just cut that off there didn't I? Shit. I'm um, just thinking to myself. Anyway um, Hope you enjoy it. Oh, this is what I do. See you later. Nearly at 10 minutes, so yeah, definitely see you later.
Okay, as you can tell, we're on the nice steep driveway. Um, this is those meters I was talking about. I wasn't going to film, but I thought I will. Mainly for HD. Oh, I forget it every time. HD FX. Oh, I don't know your name, Cobber. You know what I'm talking about when I say. A couple of old meters here for you. Is that one? M1 and M3. But anyway, um, there's the hot water features. So, there's, there's these two meters run all three flats, which is not allowed. And uh, as you can tell, the switchboard's only one too. It's also not allowed. So, I'm actually off to the wholesaler now to um, discuss getting a four four panel uh, enclosure. So there's one meter there, one meter there, one meter there, and the new requirements you have main switches on your mains. And this is dual phase or twin phase, polyphase, whatever you want to call it. Um, so if you had double 80 amp breaker, which will be expensive, but we'll have to get it. That's what Aurora said to do. And then I can put somewhere a three a three line switchboard in. Um, I've got approval to do so. You actually have to, otherwise they would make you put pull all the circuits back to each individual unit and put separate switchboards in, which would be quite expensive. Anyway. I'll show you how it's going later on with the job. Almost forgot. Um, got to do this pit here too. It's a shed. Uh, the feed comes, I believe, from down the switchboard. It's turned off, so it must run off one of the circuits for that flat. Um, yeah. Once the camera gets out of the sun and focuses on this, this is the conduit here, the orange one. Don't know what that is. Don't turn it to phone line. I think it is. Um, this is the orange conduit that comes up from the house, which is down the driveway there, if you can see it down there, down there. Um, well, looks like an old power point, upside down at first you say. Well, it gets much worse than that. That actually isn't the old power point, old metal power point. Um, it's the J-Box. And yes, you can poke your finger in there and touch the live wires. So that's got to be changed. Um, another lovely legal thing here is the wire ran just below the roof down to that power point there so another thing has to be redone back to here is this got to go up there down to that power point use that light switch on the power point to put a nice fluoro in the middle here um, and take off all these dodgy looking wires and stuff and then I think she wants a sense light in that corner so I can just come out of the J-Box and I'm going to put it on there and over there. There's a switch on it just above the, over here somewhere. So that'd be easy enough to do. But yeah, it's just dodgy. Oh no. Oh, there's the sense light there. There's the plug for the sense light. Ugh, yuck. Dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. So, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I think that's the last part of the job I need to show you this one. Bigger job than I first intended to, but it's all money, it's all, all work, which is something I need to do. Anyway, see you later for the third time. <laughs>